Hello, Matthew Tamin here, and today I want to talk to you about staying focused and motivated. You know, as an entrepreneur, you know, you go through different emotions. There are times when you wake up in the morning and you feel like you can conquer the world. There are other times when you feel like the world just conquered you. You have a lot of dreams, you have a passion, and you're pursuing things, but it seems like nothing is working out. And one of the challenges that I face, and I know that you probably face too, is the motivation factor and the staying focused. Because there are times when it should get to different levels in entrepreneurship that sometimes it feels like nothing is happening. Things are not going to move. You know, your business is going down, your connections, whatever it is, like you just don't know what's happening. Well, I want to give you seven points that help me or seven things to do that, that are going to help you uh, to, to get refocused and to stay motivated. All right, ready? All right, the first one is remind yourself why you started in the first place. Why did you start on this journey? You know, sometimes we get so focused and try to, you know, get, get ahead, trying to do this, trying to do that, that we lose sight of the main reason why we started doing what we're doing. You know, why, why did you fall in love with that? And sometimes, I have to remind myself, I have to, you know, take a deep breath in and just think, you know, why am I doing what I'm doing? Because you love it. And when you love something, it's going to happen, you know, that sometimes you get discouraged, you get whatever it is. But if you can just take some time to just, you know, just look at your vision, you know, why did you start doing this? That is going to give you a fresher perspective and it's going to help you to, to get going. Okay, number two, take care of your loved ones. You know, you get in business to help people and to make money, as Marcus Lemona said. And I believe that when you look at the responsibilities that you have, that is a big motivating factor. You know, I know for me, having four kids, every time that I look at my kids, you know, I'm just always thinking of ways to, you know, be a better provider for them financially. Because if something ever happens to you, what's going to happen to your family? Uh, for anyone that have any type of dependence, whether you have kids, you have your parents, you have cousins, if you are taking care of anyone financially, this is always on the back of your mind. So you want to make sure that you you know you get that boost. And when you look at them, when I look at my kids, man, I'm just like, I can't give up. I can't give up now because if I give up now, my children's future is it's it's not going to be bright. So think about your loved ones, you know, the people that have been there for you, that are supporting you, and those are the people that you're doing this for because you want to provide better for them. I know that for me, as a parent, that's definitely what, you know, I'm always aiming for. All right, number three, is your current plan working? A lot of times as entrepreneurs, we create this master plan, and most people just stick with the plan, but sometimes you're sticking with the wrong plan. Look at the plan that you have in place. And a lot of times I've realized that most entrepreneurs don't have a plan in place. We're kind of just wing it. You know, today we'll do this, tomorrow we'll do that. But the plan that you have, if your plan is just winging things and not really having anything concrete, then chances are you're really frustrated because if you don't plan things, if you don't have a, a concrete thing in place that you say, okay, I'm doing this, I'm doing that, then you have nothing to go back to, to, you know, to kind of get you on the right path. So is your current plan working for you? If it's working for you, great. Think of other ways you, you can use to improve it, to make it better. If it's not working, it leads to the next step, step four, which is re-strategize with a new plan. You always have to keep working on your plan. Your plan should never be written in stone. And a lot of times people write plans and they think that, you know, I've written this plan now. What you don't understand is that you have to go back every few months, every month you have to look at your plans. And there are times when every week you got to look at your plans. Okay, what am I doing this week? What am I doing next week? What am I doing this month? What am I doing for the next three months, six months, a year? And you have to keep, you know, re re-strategizing and go back to your plan and update your plan as your life changed. Because for example, if you just had a baby, that's a tremendous change that's going to come into your plan. If you just started a, a new project, whatever it is, you have to go back and re-strategize to make sure that you're, you know, keeping up to date with the things that are happening in your life. I know that for me, you know, when my kids start school, 
I have to change my plan a little bit differently because now they're in school, I have more time to do X, Y, and Z. And when they get out of school, then I have to change my plan again to make sure that I'm changing my plans accordingly. All right, number five. I'm a firm believer in a long time. You know, go away for a few few days. You know, if you can afford just by yourself to just go somewhere for a period of time, then you do that. That is going to help you to uh, to stay focused. You know, sometimes we get so overwhelmed by so many things pulling at us from every single corner that our focus and our motivation is drained. Maybe what you need, and I believe is what you need sometimes, is just go somewhere for, even if it's if just for one day, just by yourself, even if it's just for a few hours. I've come to realize that the, the times that I really get refreshed is when I just go somewhere. I love, love to walk or go jogging or play music. So when I get that time by myself, when I'm just on the piano, just playing something, I got my headphones on, and I'm just playing something, it gives me a chance to just you know, revitalize and rejuvenate me. Or if I had to go walking, you know, there are times when uh, I was just going through a period of time in my life that um, it seems like nothing was, was working for me. And I remember I used to walk 10 to 12 hours without any destination at all. And now that's probably too much walking for you, but I was in a point in time in my life where I just walked. I didn't, have any, I didn't have any destination. I was just walking and walking. When I got tired, I stopped and I turned back and it took me another few hours to get back to my original point, but I just walked. So the point that I'm making is that sometimes you have to get away just to get alone, just to be by yourself and rethink. Okay, number six, network with like-minded people. You have to network with like-minded people. People just as passionate as you. You know, people who have gone through things that you're going through and they can be able to help you get to your next level. People who are creative people. You know, I love to be around creative individuals like myself because I'm always thinking of different strategies, different ways, different methodologies to do things, how to make this better, what can I do here, whatever it is. Even as I'm creating this this uh, this videos, I'm always thinking about networking with other people that can help me be better because I believe that if you're going to do something great, you need other people to help you. You need people to pull out the greatness out of you. You know, sometimes a lot of us have greatness locked up inside of us, but if you don't go anywhere that is going to stretch you, if you don't connect with other people that are pulling that out of you, then you would never know how great you can be. So it's great for you to create networks. And I'm sure I network with you. You know what I mean? Like I love to connect with other creative people like myself. It doesn't matter where they're from, what race, what color, what religion. I just love to connect with people who have the same interests and the same, uh, the same path that I'm going on because you're going to realize that when you connect with those people, it changes your life forever. Build those networks and expand from them. You never know who you're going to connect with. So that's something to do. And number seven, this is a key thing that a lot of times most people don't really realize this, but see yourself at the finish line. See yourself at the finish line. Sometimes I just sit back and just put music on or just relaxing somewhere and I imagine myself where I want to be. I imagine myself already being there and accomplishing everything that I set out to accomplish, which is a great feeling. You know, I was I was watching an interview with Michael Johnson, uh, one of the fastest men in the world, uh, this track and field uh, guy, and he said, I'm asking him a question, you know, when you left, when you retired, did you feel like, you know, did you miss it or no? And he was actually talking with Usain Bolt, and Michael Johnson said something that was real key. He said, you know what? No, I did not miss it. He said, because every goal that I wanted to achieve, I achieved it. So there really wasn't anything else for me to, uh, you know, to achieve because I'd exceeded everything that I wanted to do. And I want to say to you, have you exceeded everything you wanted to do? If not, I want you to envision everything that you wanted to do. See yourself at the finish line. You're at the, you're very close and when you get to the finish line, it's a rewarding feeling. It's a excite, exciting. Then you can start on a new journey. But you have to see yourself at the finish line. Don't let what other people are doing distract you. Don't let other people's success or whatever it is that's going on and distract you from where you are trying to go. See yourself at the finish line. All right, until next time.
Let's connect.